All right, some other vocab and some other things to know from this uh, section that we talked about or going to talk about. Uh, just little things I would jot down to know is one mentioned a second ago, the Legal Tenured Act. It was passed by Congress uh, in February 1862, uh, and it created national currency, uh, money. Um, well, before that, in line of the South, you have different states have their own money. Uh, this allowed the government to issue money. Um, and they issued a green color money, which was the paper money was known as greenbacks. Okay, the greenbacks is of course the wine of the day. The money's green. All right, um, and this takes place in the north. Okay, the the, the Confederates in the South mentioned before uh, are not going to have this um, as as much. Um, moving on to the next one is the War Democrat. The War Democrats were. Um, People who supported the war, they want to resolve the restore the union. Uh, they oppose ending of slavery. Okay, remember, um, Lincoln' goal was to preserve the union, even if it meant allowing slavery to continue. Um, and at the beginning of the Civil War, you know there were many Northern Democrats, Republicans challenged Lincoln's view on this. We did that activity in class with the candidates in the election of 1860. Um, so the war Democrats supported the war for restoring the Union, but opposed ending slavery. Peace Democrats, on the other hand, all right, uh, peace Democrats, uh, one that all refer, re, referred to by Republicans as Copperheads, opposed the war. Okay, they wanted to stop fighting and negotiate right away. Okay, um, and then move us to the next thing is, um, and we'll stick habeas corpus, come back in a second, but talking about the military draft. Everyone knows about the draft, uh, getting people to sign up to fight for military service. Um, as the war went on, it was harder and harder for people to uh, get, or sides to get people to enlist because they, they were photographs. They started to see how bad the war was, and they were like, it's too hard to get people to sign up. So they started making people fight. Um, and Congress is going to do that after use um, martial law in 1862 to require some states to require certain people to fight. Now, in the South, uh, the term um, a poor man's going to fight a rich man's war because if a individual owned 20 or more slaves, they could not be drafted. So that is why you have the term a poor man fights a rich man war. Okay, so if they own more than 20 or more slaves. All right, and then um, for as Lincoln, he had to enforce martial law and to get people signed up. He had to suspend the writs of habeas corpus, okay, which is a person's right not to be in prison uh, unless charged with a crime and given a trial. Okay, so he suspended that. Um, and, you know, we mentioned before what makes a good president is someone that's going to make a decision, which not everyone is going to like at the time, but something that needs to be done. And here's another example of Lincoln doing that. The other one was, of course, um, what he does uh, with Maryland, keeping Maryland from seceding from the Union. All right, let's move on. I have two individuals mentioned here. Um, and this is the last, some other key people to know that's in this section. Uh, these are both Confederate guys james madison uh he's from virginia and john slidell from louisiana uh, they are sent to europe to negotiate with britain and france uh, while this is going on the united states does not want europeans to recognize this confederate states of america as an independent country they want to say hey look this is our problem within and we're going to take care of it they're not a new nation by doing by saying that they also wanted europeans to respect their blockade of southern ports hey look we're going to blockade and we need you to to stay put and understand that we're uh, like disciplining uh the south on this okay the flip side of it the confederacy wanted europeans uh, to recognize that this blockade is illegal uh, they wanted uh, the british navy to help in this and so they're going to try to put pressure on france and britain you know say hey look you want this cotton and know you want it for your textile mills you know help us in this situation okay so this whole time uh slidell and, and mason are negotiating with of uh, with europe um and then there's a big incident that happens they call it the trenton affair 
okay? It is a Union warship is going to intercept and stop a British ship. The British ship is named Trenton, okay? John and James are both on that ship. Will the Union arrest them, take them into custody? Um, the British demand the release of these two men. And they say, hey, look, these guys are with us. If you don't let them go, we're going to go to war against the United States. Well, Lincoln makes another uh, decision. Now, he is going to decide to set both these guys free. Um, and by doing that, it released the tension at that time with the British. Um, and the Confederacy is going to fail to gain the support from the Europeans uh, at this period of time. And just think for a second, if Lincoln... Um, would have said, no, you know, I'm not going to let them go, uh, or, or excuse me, of the war. 